Everybody, happy Friday the 13th, and in celebration of Friday the 13th, which I always thought was a cool day, I'm left-handed. Every number that I ever picked in sports was always 13 on my back. Uh, let's do a Jason where he's from Friday the 13th movie. Let's do it quick, because I know you guys' attention span isn't very long at times, so let's go. He should be fairly easy to draw. Uh, remember, he has a ski mask, so he has some kind of buckles up in here. We'll just start here at the buckles. Beat, 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 beat. Buckles come up in here, and he's got sort of a monk thing uh, head. Uh, has a roundish sort of mask here, and it sort of makes him look a little bit pudgy. So, got to make sure that we don't get too weird here. And again, I think he has some buckles or something on this side up over here too. So we'll go here, get some of those up here, come up in here, and then make it a little bit round. We'll get his jaw up in here, and then we'll make sure that we make sure it's all sort of craggly when we're all said and done here, but I'll get to that a little bit later. So we'll have the head here. Now, now that we've got the head, we'll put some eyes in here real quick. We'll shadow his eyes. Again, I'm going to go super fast in here, and then I'll cut some whites up in here. He's got another eye up over here that has the other hockey mask. There's, again, a goalie mask from a hockey. And again, as a Canadian kid, God bless it that he took some of the tools that we used to like here. And again, he has a, sort of this weird little mask up in here. Uh, I believe he has some little mark on it, and depending on which movie you had, I think he even had a couple of marks on this side. These are the red ones. I'll color them in a bit. And then, really, all all we're looking at right now, once I get some little bit of details, is now you just got to start putting in any of the... Uh, oh, there we go. Any of the... Let's go bigger here. I think he has like one, two, three, four, something like that. One, two, three, four. And then the other ones go at an angle. Right? Make sure you go at an angle with them. One up over here. And the same over here. Does like he's got about one, two, three, and then they come across here. And they look something like this. And if you want, you can come in here and just cut in. Let's go a little bit bigger. You can cut in a little bit of white so that it looks like there's a little bit of three dimension in there. Right? Zip, 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 zip. We'll just cut in some in there. We'll make sure that we come up in here. Give a little bit of eyes, so it looks like there's something in there. Those are the highlights. It would actually be his eyes up in here. All right? And we'll make sure that we give some lines in here so it looks like he's all messed up. Up underneath here. We'll pit up his mask a little bit. But now, we have to get to sort of the cool part, which is his head. So let's go back up in here and finish the head here. We've got the strap, right? Maybe we'll put some highlights up in here so it looks like it's going that way. And then we'll come up in here and we'll tie it in here. Now, the thing that I'm going to want to do is sort of mess up his head a little bit. So one of the fast, easy ways is to go in here and add a lot of black. As you can see, real quickly, add a lot of black in some spots. Maybe up over here, add some black. Some black. And then real quickly, I'll drop in... I'll drop in some white and I'll cut white into it so watch this now that I've got all the, that in there I can just come in here and add some white and I can get sort of that pitting scarred stuff that is actually part of what his face and stuff looks like again it's quick and it's dirty and it's easy but it's the way I get to it he also has uh, some monk thing up in here and then he also has a turtleneck but I'm gonna do that Let's go in here and do it in black, because that's actually the color that he has it. So, he has some kind of turtleneck up in here. So, let's just do it here. Bam. And then we'll come up in here. Here's the turtleneck. We'll get some pieces up in here. Oh, I don't know what that is. We'll cut some in here. And then, we'll cut some stripes in here. And then I'll go white. And get a couple of little highlights in here. Highlight, highlight, highlight. Cool. And then go back to the black. And then finish doing his chest. Because he seemed like he was a fairly big man. So I'll go here. 
here, and then I'll go back to my brush, uh, and oh, the, and then we'll finish off some of this here. So he had pretty ratty overalls. It looked like a car mechanic overall or something like that. All right, we'll finish up in here. Do a little bit of shading up on here. Here's here's his mark here. And then I'll give him some pretty beefy shoulders. I'll rat it up a little bit, but if I remember, he was a, he was a pretty sizable person. Uh, and so we'll get that done here. Same here. We'll get this here. Clean up, clean up this just a little bit, and then we'll finish here. Put a little bit of a shadow here. And then again, we'll come in with some fairly sizable broad shoulders up in here. You can cut it up in here. All right, I'll go a little bit small now with my brush. And I'll just start pitting it out just a little bit so that it just seems like it looks like he's been in a few fights. Shrink it down just a little bit, see what he looks like. Uh, let me do another one here. Watch this. We'll make it even look cool. Watch this. Watch this. Blammo. Kablammo. He's in dark. Right? Who doesn't want to see him? He's got to be in dark. He's got to look cool because he comes out at night. That's cool. And then let's put a little bit of color on him. Uh, like I said, uh, he has a little bit of the red in the mask here. So we'll go here. Oh, image. I don't have it in color. Make sure that you're not in grayscale. Make sure you're in RGB. That means you can do color. Don't flatten it, Todd. And now I can come in here. And now I can add my little red right in here. My little red right in here. Right here red in here. And the thing that'd be cool, I can also then do some blood splatters on him. Right, so it looks like you got some blood spatter on him. Oh, that's cool. Uh, and now I'll do a shadow. So let's let's do two quick colors here, and then we will be done. Let's just give him a grungy, grungy sort of mask color here. Uh, I'll go here real quickly. And we'll hit right here. We'll make this up in here. We have this is normal, so you hit this and go to multiply. When you go to multiply, now all of a sudden you can see the mask, right? So you can see it here, right? There we go, right there. So we've got the mask. I can now come in here and erase out in some of the areas up in here. And now one more thing, we'll put some cool shadows on. So I'll take this. I'll go black. Again, I'm going to go black with it. And now let's just do some really cool shadowing on him here. Up in here, up in here. I'll hit black, blam. I'll hit maybe another little bit of black here. And I'll hit some black up in here. And now if I take this, which is at 100%, and I slide it right here, and I go, fine, take this. Uh-oh. And I go, okay, oh, that. And I take this, and I slide this to, let's say... 50%. Let's take it to 56%. Now if we go back over here, now look at that. You can see the cool sassiness of it, right? And now, like I said, now I can start adding as many shadows as I want. I can start to feather these shadows, and I can start to build. And at the same time, I can also erase some stuff. So if I want to show some kind of highlight, like under the eye area, you know, maybe even a couple of those there. And we get there fairly quickly. So, anyway, there we go. Jason Jason from Friday the 13th. Hope you enjoyed it. Our three-minute sketch. Uh, maybe we'll do Freddy Krueger next time on Friday the 14th. All right, be good.